Oh, welcome back, YouTubers and Mad fans. This is Mad Money Shot sniffing out the Mad Cheese. So I just got some plays for you today out of the Raiders playbook. I got basically three one-play touchdown plays. All can be found in the Raiders playbook. This is my new playbook. I really want to do a, uh, a full breakdown, an ebook, uh, you know, all that. I haven't done one of those in a while out of this playbook. It's that good. It's definitely deserving of my next breakdown. Um, other than that, like I said, I'm going to do a, I try to do a quick video here where I show you a one-play touchdown that's all in this book that against cover two, cover three, and cover four. Um, so if you guys want to see this out of the Saints playbook, I also can do a video like that out of there so hit the like button or let me know in the comment section if you want me to do the saints breakdown other than that let's go let's get into it let's try to do a quick video here we'll start off with cover two um like i said this is the playbook i'm using right now so i know this playbook pretty good i'm pretty sure it's out of the gun doubles wide flex maybe not that's not the one there it is the gun spread so this is one you've probably seen online quite a bit uh, but i'll start with cover two and i'll work my way back to cover four the pa comebacks uh this is the play i'm going to pick here at the bottom we'll go ahead and we'll go random uh, we'll go, no, i'm not random I'm we're going to pick tampa two Go ahead, we're going to move the ball back quite a bit because these are all going to be uh, big plays. So we'll go ahead and move it back to here. This particular play is real simple. I mean, I can leave it just like it is. Um, these outside routes um, should really uh, should really pull back. I don't know if this guy's got the speed. <laughs> he didn't have the speed to get there, but uh, it was there. So we'll go ahead and we'll try that again. But this is definitely a real, there's, there's no real adjustments needed. All I got to do is get past the guy, and that catching animation is really screwing me over <laughs> with the jumping catch. I got a touchdown, though, in the second place, so real simple. Probably should have put my fastest guy in the middle there. There's some dude named, like, Holton or something on here. He's like a burner. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to do this again. Lob it up there. You can see, I mean, that, that catch animation is almost getting me caught by the linebacker, but he's, he's gone. So real simple setup there. If you wanted to do anything as far as an adjustment, you could put Cooper here and uh, Crabtree here on these, uh, on uh, what they call fades to kind of pull the coverage away, but I don't think it's necessary. Uh, but you can see there's, um, you know, there's a throwing window. If I can catch and run that, he actually didn't get away with it that time. Uh, but uh, that's, that's an adjustment you can make. You can also put them on out routes and then smart route them. Uh, but it, it, it really anything that just pulls those safeties apart is really where it's at. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to try to finish this off. Here we go. It's real simple. I don't think the fade routes really worked as well because it pulled them back. So I guess the out routes work better. So we'll go ahead and move on to the cover three beater. The cover three beater that I like to use is out of the gun tight slot open. Now this particular play, like I said, I should probably keep putting my fastest dude. Mark Cooper's there, so that's fine. Uh, but it's the PA read. This actually works pretty good against cover four too. But we're going to keep this in the cover three vein. Um, so we're going to go with random, I'm not random, I keep saying random, it's not random. We're going to go with, uh, I don't want to go with the Bucks land. let's just go with a random cover three sky. This particular play, it's probably best to have as much room to the sideline as possible. You don't need to do this, but it's definitely helpful. So you can you can run this play just like this, where you just put uh, Crabtree on a zig, and I'll try to run it like that one time. But the issue is, this guy doesn't really hold the block down, and that's kind of like a huge issue. So it's really better to run it the second way I'm going to show you. Uh, where you basically put Blinch here on a swing right and then motion block Crabtree into this defensive end. Now there, he didn't even hold the edge, but you basically got to get wide here and then you're going to go ahead, you're going to bullet pass it to the outside and it didn't quite get going. I didn't bullet pass it far enough. It's all good though. We'll go ahead and we'll do that again. Takes a little bit of labbing, but this one here is probably one of my favorite one-play touchdowns that I'm running right now. So he's getting wide, so I gotta I gotta race it back up in. And like I said, we're just gonna bullet pass it outside as much as possible. And Crabtree's going for the one-play TD. So let's see if we can time this motion block a little bit better. See there, he just kind of doesn't get it done, but that's okay. Just gotta find a way to get that edge. So we're gonna go to motion, motion, uh, not motion. <laughs> we're gonna bullet pass outside and lead to the outside, and boom, easy easy score right there. All right, so we'll run it one more time, and then we'll move on. just want to show a little consistency. Like I said, this is one of my more favorite one-play TDs right now. Uh, there we get that, that motion block that I want. And we're going to go ahead. We're going to bomb it up outside, clear that corner, and we're gone. So let's go ahead and let's move on to the cover four beater. Cover four beater is real simple. There's no real adjustments. It's out of the single back wide trips, and it's the PA zone shot. So we're going to go ahead and go with that. We're going to go random. Not random cover four. We're going to go... Um, nickel or dime cover four. So this play right here is no adjustments. Once again, you just got to get that edge. The play action is not necessary. Um, I kept it. Nice block. That's what I need right there. So then we're going to get to the edge. Pass lead outside again. And he didn't catch and run because that was a bad throw. But you can see he was passed. So I'll go ahead and I'll do this again. Like I said, this play action is not necessary. You can cancel that pre-play. Get to the edge. 
Pass lead outside. Another not so great pass, but you know what? He caught up to it. So real simple pitch and catch. The only real thing about this is you got to get wide of this pass rusher. And that's what's good about this play is you have a tight end there to, hold, to help hold out. And uh, there we go. We're just going to bomb it up. So that's it. One play touchdown against all three defenses, the most used defenses. Uh, the cover three beater should work pretty good against cover six and cover nine, if you guys are wondering. Uh, they're pretty popular now, too. Uh, other than that, if you guys want to see more stuff out of the race, play big, do me a favor, hit the like button. I'll do that. And that's it. Thanks for watching Madden Way Shit Out. If you more help or just want to show your support, then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bits and more. Link in the description below. Uh, which I'll try to put out for you guys. But either way, let's go ahead and let's get to the first play. The first play that I really like is, uh, a, a, it's a really great run formation, and the, the, probably the most obvious run play um, is the halfback toss. This is a fire, fire play right here. So we're going to go, we're going to pick that. Uh, we're going to go ahead, we're going to go on defense here. We're going to go random 3-4, give myself some. I got a challenge here, the Broncos, man. We'll be running right at Von Miller. I ain't worried about, <laughs> worried about Von Miller. Let's go right at Von Miller's throat right now, and let's go and let's pound his rock with Marshawn. So, I mean, first of all, I probably would want to run this from the open side of the field. Uh, that's one thing I would want to change. You can't always do that. I mean, you can't do that in gameplay, but just be beware of where you are on the field. You can run it from the middle. You just don't want to run it, like, from the short side. That'd be crazy. So, you just make sure you run it from the middle to the left. Now, it's a pretty good play just like this. I'll go ahead and run it like this one time. It's not the best way to run it, but you can see, see the spread's not quite there. It's like a cluster of blocking kind of piles up. You got two pulling linemen here. You got this guy and this guy pulling, uh, which, you know, I probably should have put, like, I think this lineman's much faster than Gabe Jackson, so he might not get out and block. I might switch that up here in a minute. But the best way to do this is either to motion this guy out, hike on the motion block. As you can see there, sometimes he kind of comes back inside. I had a lane there, man, but I just ran my blockers. No big deal. Um, or you can actually just put him all the way out. And I'll have some pass plays where putting him, putting your tight end all the way out will basically blend in. But you can see how he blocked nobody there. But you can see how it's still a pretty good play. If you had to block somebody, it would have been great. So let's go ahead and let's do this a couple times to get a little bit of better consistency here. Uh, I mean, I wish I had a better uh, speed back. Marshawn Lynch is more of a power back. Uh, but let's see here. We can just use my blocker here. Now that's what I'm talking about. Look at that. We get that edge. And I don't know who that is. That looks like a face mask, you cheater. So let's get a couple more good runs here. And we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna try to bounce this outside. If we get some blocks, come on, hike the ball, god damn it. All right, so here we go. Now that is not what I wanted, come on. <laughs> yeah, since it's an outside run, you might want your fastest back in the backfield. I think I have a couple of guys faster than Marshawn, but um, you know, Marshawn has that ability to break tackles. So we're gonna go, we're gonna stick with him. Uh, see there, that cluster got up a little bit tight there. All right, so let's get a couple of good runs. Now, the way that that safety's coming down, I'm not really feeling this look, but let's do it anyway. He's probably going to blitz and mess everything up. You know, we're going to get wide. We're going to get wide anyway, and we're going to get a little juke going on. Oh, my God, my blocker tackled me. Come on, 49, you suck. Yeah, so that's the play. Real simple. Like I said, I'd like to get a touchdown here. It's definitely a capable play um, if I can get some blocking on the edge. What's really messing up is he's tight end. Look at this tight end. He gets to the next level. But he basically lets the first guy go, and then I get past him. By the way, I'm averaging like 10 to 15 per carry. So the second play, my second favorite play out of this formation is the PA tight end corner. When I first discovered this play, I thought it was a one-play touchdown. It's not, but it's a really big play uh, against cover, too, especially. So what we're going to do here is we're going to put somebody with a little bit of speed in the second tight end position. I'm not even sure which one of these guys that is, uh, but you definitely want a fast guy. I might have to research it a little bit before I pick the play. I think there's this condo guy, if I'm not wrong. So we'll pick him, like you say. 42 overall. Um, I'd probably be better off since that's going to be the big play. I think I'll actually switch it up. I'll put Walford in at the one, and I'll put I'll put Jared Cook in at the two. I don't want to mess this up. But this play basically, uh, you you have a one one of these routes is a cover two beat, and one of these routes is a cover three beat. I'll show you that. We'll go ahead and pick that, and we'll keep going back in against uh, random three four. If you're playing against somebody and they don't use something big, then it's really up to you to just, you know, hit the audible button, switch over to one of these run plays. you got a couple of run plays if you're using the Raiders playbook. Um, but if they don't respect the fact you're in a two-tight end set, that's what you got to do. So this is real simple. Only adjustment I'm going to make is I'm going to put the circle right here on a streak. Now, this looks like a cover four, if I had to guess, or maybe it's like a cover three, show four, something like that. But if it's a cover two, Jared Cook is going to be right up the middle. And if it's a cover... Uh, three, Walford is going to be the guy. Now, Walford's not really a great tight end. Jared Cook's a much better tight end. Uh, but we'll go ahead and we'll run it like this one time. Uh, looks like a man coverage actually, so that's actually a man beater out to Walford. Um, like I said, not the best speed on this guy, but he made it happen. 
So, I, I mean, the cover two concept too. Walford is a cover two concept with a Wale, uh, the tight, this fullback. If the full, if it's a cover two, they typically have a higher low between uh, R1 and the uh, and the X route. You can see here, and I got a pretty good athlete at tight fullback here. He's a pretty good speed fullback. This is especially good against users because a lot of times in cover twos, that circle route will be like a mid read, and they'll basically pull coverage. But a lot of users won't follow. So that's what makes that especially good. Is he being covered by a cornerback right now and just burning it? That's a really good man beat around if you can't tell. He's actually a safety. But uh, what Walford's doing, that double, it's almost like a double post, is a really hard route um, to cover for a lot of, uh, we're going to take the check down here. For a lot of, uh, for a lot of man coverage, is that, that all that movement is hard for man to keep up. Not really getting that big cover two beater like I was saying. Uh, this here looks like a cover three. So I'm going to go ahead and put Cook on a fade because that'll help out a little bit more. Um, to get the uh, the X route open, you can see how he pulls that. Just by that little bit of a fade, he'll get that open a little more. If I had kept him on a streak, though, he probably would have been open more on the streak by himself. But here we go. Looks like we got another man coverage. I'm going to have him throw it in the break. Like I said, that that is just such a good man cover beater. I mean, that round particularly is good against most things. So I didn't really get the cover two look that I want. But like I said, that cover two look is really more about um, user middle linebackers and cover twos, not. Uh, paying attention to what they're doing and you could also put Cooper I really didn't say you could put Cooper on a slant if you think that you can bait a cover two middle linebacker user to stay down the slant is going to be good for that and that'll help cook it open that much easier um, so a couple different things you can do this so we'll go ahead and move on to the next play I'll go ahead and I'll finish part one with uh, another run play uh, probably the last run play that I'm going to show maybe in the whole series although I might have another run play in the next one but either way the Oakland off tackle um, is to me I, I there's a variation of this that I already had out in the uh, in the Packers playbook, and this is a really good uh, run formation. So I'll finish with that. Um, this play, like I said, it's not the, the first play I showed is typically more explosive. The toss is typically a much more explosive run play, but this is definitely nothing to, to you know. This is a really good run play too. So we'll go ahead and pick that, and we'll keep going random through four and D. Now you can run it just like this. You can motion out the tight end the same way I did the last play, but I actually think it's better to flip it. And I already motioned the guy out just to show that look for whatever reason. But it's a really good, <laughs> it's a really good, it's basically like a stretch. But I actually like to flip it and uh, send this guy over and basically even out the even out the set. Uh, don't ask me why I'd rather do this, especially since I'm doing it to the short side of the field. But you can just see how the blocking just holds up just so well. I mean, like I said, it's basically like a stretch play with extra blocking. Most stretch plays don't have fullbacks. That's what makes this play so unique is uh, stretch plays are typically by yourself in the backfield. So this is just extra blocking on an already dominant concept. Let's see if we can get outside again. Look at that blocking. Look at that blocking. Like I said, way better than the pulling, trapping, tossing plays. Yeah, the reason that plays like this work a lot better than tosses and, and, and uh, you know sweeps and stuff like that is because linemen aren't pulling. When linemen typically are pulling, um, this is a man cover, I should have went the other way. When linemen are typically pulling, uh, they have a hard time figuring out, the AI has a hard time figuring out of who they're supposed to be blocking. So they'll basically, um, you know, they, they'll get lost in, in space. Where here, who they're blocking is right in front of them. Now you see it's a man coverage, so I rotate that guy over. I'm gonna go to the naked side now uh, because I, I don't want to, oh my goodness, oh, and I I didn't do the thing I was like I had more of that. Uh, but yeah if it's a man coverage you basically want to um, just you know let the let the uh, let the, the guy out of the way uh, let the uh, tight end lead the cornerback out of the way but basically like I said I like going this way because you have a blocking receiver and a blocking tight end it's a little bit better than the other way so you can see this is just a really uh, easy play like I said motioning this guy over balancing out the formation uh, running it to the wide receiver side and then getting wide is typically the best way to go. So we'll go ahead and we'll move on that I want to do um, that I really think is one of the more successful ones and one of the easier ones to do is the uh, the PA. Uh, I'm sorry, where is it at here? That's not the right one. Uh, where, 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 where are we? Oh, no. Uh, yeah, the PA Raider flat is one of my more favorite concepts right here. So there's two of them on this page that are actually pretty good. The PA Raider out's a pretty good one too. We're going to do the PA Raider flat first. Yeah, this play right here is not too bad to run just like this. It's a play action based off of that uh, run play I was just talking about. Um, it's not, you know, the best run play in the world, but if you if you run if you just want to run something up the center, um, it's a pretty good uh, pretty good look. Maybe I'll show that after this. But <clears throat> but either way, this is not a bad adjustment. Uh, it's a really good play inside the ten. I'd say is that route that the tight end's running the X route. Um, but it also really plays off of this route. This route right here, the fullback for whatever reason is going to be wide open nine times out of ten. 
but I want to do something to get that route uh, a little bit more separation so what I like to do is I like to put cook here on a drag and then basically just motion this guy out get him a little bit of a head start because if you don't put him on that head start he's gonna run into timing wise he's gonna run into what cooks doing so like I said you can run it just like this um, you can't motion out a Wale because or Ala Wala, I don't even know how to say his name, but you can't motion him out because Cook is on a motion. So if you put him on a drag, now you can motion him out. Now he's free to do what he wants, uh, which is good. <clears throat> but basically, this is just a straight up flip concept. And you have four levels of passing here. So we'll go ahead and run it like this one time. Uh, I want to get the, uh, the the X route there. As you can see, he's going to be probably the most consistent play out of this, other than the fullback. If you run this from one side, you might be able to get that, that receiver open a little bit more too. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna try that a couple times. Uh, Cooper is a pretty good route. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna try to hit him a few times here. Um, it doesn't look like the best route ever, but you know what, you see how he makes that break and I tippy-toed it, didn't get the touch, but it's whatever. Not the best throw, um, but that route is pretty good. You gotta keep an eye on that route. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna do this a couple times. I'm gonna try to hit that guy. And you can see how the, uh, the, the, uh, the coverage drops down on the, um, the drag route there. I think overall to get that receiver open though, you actually need a little bit more space. So we're going to move back so I can try to hit him more often. Because he's a big play. You know what I'm saying? That Cooper route is a big play. So we're going to try to hit Cooper a couple times here. And we're going to go ahead. We're going to lob it up. And we're going to go up and get it over him. But you know what? He didn't make the touchdown anyway, but that's all good. It's all good though. I mean, it's a big play. So I really think that's... I mean, I've, I've pretty much hit that against cover two here's cover two it's wide open on a cover two right there <clears throat> this is definitely an outstanding cover two play because it's flat this is cover three i'm gonna try to hit cover three too uh, i think it's a good cover three play and we're gonna go ahead we're gonna flip them around there and we're just gonna basically face shield and then we're gonna get a crazy animation for the score let's go but pretty much everything gets open here uh, with these adjustments like I said that fullback being out that's gonna draw the user's attention to that fullback every time you motion that fullback out And that's gonna do wonders for these other routes the drag is pretty much just the pull coverage He doesn't really get uh, in my reprogression too much uh, the circle route But um, but yeah, he's definitely you know, he's just kind of there That's not really it's not really his job and then we're gonna hit Walford who's not a great receiving tight end But you know what like I said everybody's pretty much open. This is one of my more favorite concepts uh, So I'm gonna go ahead and move on. I don't make this too long We'll go ahead and we'll show the uh, the PA Raider out, which is a very um, similar thing. But this time, just like I said, all these threes, all three of these plays right here are basically made to work with that tight end motion, which is the Raider Blast. And if you watch the first video, um, the first video I did a motion manually on a run play. So you're going to have a lot of instances where that motion comes into play and it won't give away anything. So we'll pick the PA Raider out. Yeah, this play is really good. You got the high-low concept. I think they call it a drive concept. Um, it's a play action with a lot of blocking too, by the way. So if you have anybody that's sending a lot of crazy blitzes, um, you can see how you have a high low there. Uh, if the user's on the backside, you basically take the short guy. That's kind of how this play works. So if the user is smart enough to stay back where Cook is, he's not going to be able to cover both. And then you can see how here, this is much better spacing. I mean, the last time, um, the last spacing was like way too close and I wasn't really happy, happy with that, but this is much better. You also have the option of putting Lynch into a flat route, or I'm sorry, a, uh, a swing left. And watch how this uh, turns into blocking if I can get uh, him open. Uh, which, like I said, you can see how the coverage drops down. Anytime you have multiple low coverages, a lot of the yellow zones will drop down to that. But I can't say that's one of my more favorite ways to run it. Um, realistically, uh, I, I think that you could also put, uh, you take Cook here, put him on an in route, and then smart route him. That gives you an opportunity to move Cooper in here. And then now you have a pretty good adjustment if it's a cover three or cover two. This is, what Cooper's running here is a really good adjustment for that. Um, so as you can see right here, that's just a big cover two beater right up the middle there for a, a big one play score. So a real simple adjustment if you see a cover three, which is typically a one high safety or cover one, this will work the same way. All I really want to do to make this a one play touchdown is uh, put Cook here on an out route, put Walford on a pass block, motion in Cooper. And uh, we also want to uh, put uh, the running back here on a swing left. I'm sorry, swing right, and this is the play. Now all I really got to do here is get this edge, which might not be the easiest with Vaughn Miller out there, but it worked out anyway. And we're going to go ahead, we're going to pass, lead, and bullet. And you can see how Cooper just gets past one of the best cornerbacks in the game. So a real, sim real simple adjustment. Put Cook on an out route. Put Walford on a pass block. Uh, put Lynch on a swing right. Motion in Cooper. 
and uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna we're gonna rock this for another one play touchdown here real quick good double block on the steal that edge that's kind of the point of that guy and like I said bullet pass lead to the outside and you can see how Cooper just sneaks by if he's a little bit faster he might get by a little bit easier not saying that Cooper's not a good receiver but uh, if you have a real dangerous real speed receiver he's gonna be definitely gone a lot quicker so real simple motion him in boom we're gonna move out. We I don't want that one-on-one -on -one block, but I got it and he held it <laughs> We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna throw it up top over the top again And we're gonna rack catch pretty much every time to get past and it's a real simple one play touchdown in the formation I might have another one play touchdown in this. I'm not sure um, If it'll if it'll show up in this video if it'll just be on my patreon But uh, you know hit the like button if you guys want to see that uh, other than that Let's go ahead and let's run this one more time cook here is probably my best option for a check down And the only reason I really have to check it down uh, but basically, like you can see there, I, po I, I basically am going to um, pass lead, uh, playmaker, uh, the tight end up, and you can see how he's open on the sideline. You guys have seen something similar to this in my gameplays quite a bit. If you watch my gameplay videos, you've seen me run a play like this, uh, one play touchdown, where uh, I basically am trying to, you know, the check down version is basically the, the, uh, the circle route. So I'm going to playmaker him up again. Um, you can see here how blade maker and him up actually holds that cornerback down even further too uh, which is an added bonus yeah if you guys don't know how to playmaker it's just holding up on i don't remember if it's the left or the right stick even though i'm doing it i'll try to explain it as i do this play uh, but yeah it's the right stick so yeah we're gonna playmaker him up and you can see how he just kind of like lazily does a horrible play there good job but uh, that's definitely the check down that's definitely where you want to go if things aren't going the way that you want and you're really just watching that corner if that corner um, leaves his back pedal like right here he's in a back pedal he turns around and sprints like that you can still get it over top of him because he knows he's getting beat um, as you can see i still do but certain corners might be able to get back if they're fast enough so pay attention to that all right last but not least we got the close pa post this is the one play that actually lines up differently um, than the previous place the receiver is already in so we're going to pick that yeah, this one here you don't have to motion in the guy because he's already in you can't motion him actually he doesn't move um, but uh this is a you know this is another uh setup where basically what what the cooper's doing is a really good play uh right at the seam here whether it's a cover two or a cover three i actually would have waited he would have had a lot more spacing there between the safeties um, but no real adjustments needed if you want to you can do the same streak that i showed in a previous play um, but that's not necessary uh it helps there you can see that's a man coverage it really helped to get walford open to the side um, but this here play this play is really kind of a, a swiss army knife you can do a couple different things here you can put him on that streak and motion him out the same way i showed in the first video um, as far as actually it's not letting me motion him out which is weird it's showing me the option to motion him out but it's not giving me the option to motion him out so uh, i guess you can't do that but I, I thought you could maybe in different plays you could it's definitely misleading me to think that i can uh but either way if you motion if you do this um it'll help get the uh the fullback and uh walford open quite a bit um which is you know part of the uh, part of the success of the play those are the two routes that are more important anyway but uh but this uh circle route i mean you can put him on a drag have him come across um underneath uh, you can see here i'm not sure if that was a uh, what that was but you can see how he's just got an incredible amount of separation kind of sneaks out the back door you put him on a slant and he'll pull coverage for the window uh for cooper um that was not really the play right there but you can see uh, sometimes there'll be a linebacker there if there's a linebacker in zone a lot of times uh those two routes will work off of one another um as you can see we're going to throw that up over the over the linebacker we could be gone here right we got a little bit of speed we got a little bit of daylight and we're going look at that boom touchdown baby uh but this is just a really uh you know this play you can do a lot of different things with it and it's just basically um you know what you're seeing on the on the defense pre-snap uh but like i said the tight end is pretty much everything drag them streak them slant them <laughs> you name it uh it's really up to you what you think uh is the best way to do it so we'll go ahead and we'll end the video on that i'm gonna go ahead and run it one more time throw it up over that dude we're past leading up and we're, we're we're bullet passing over that uh over that linebacker uh by the way one play touchdowns against every uh formation i got to cover two one play touchdown out of the gun i got to cover four one play touchdown out of single back and i got to cover three one play touchdown 
out of the uh, out of the gun tight slot here, which is what I'm going to show you today. This is the uh, the first series of plays I'm going to put out out of the Raiders playbook. This is probably going to be uh, my next ebook if I ever get to the point where I, where I record this. This is definitely a fire fire playbook. So let's start off though with the gun tight off slot or the gun slot. <laughs> I'm not even saying this right. The gun tight slot open. This particular formation is also in the Dolphins playbook, um, and I, I've, I've been well aware of some of these plays, but I haven't put them out yet. So the first play I'm going to pick, which is a really good play. You can do a lot of different things with this. Is the PA read. I'm going to go ahead and pick that. This is the one play touchdown formation, but I'm going to run a couple different ways just to show you guys what's up. So we're going to go ahead. We're going against the Broncos defense. We're going to go random. Nickel, I guess, is a matching formation, so we'll go with that. I'm going to go ahead and move the ball back because, like I said, this is a big one-play touchdown play. So we're going to go back. I typically like to run these plays with about 60 yards of open space, 50 at the, at the, at the, at the least, I guess. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll run it from here. All right, so it looks like another another cover three. We got the single high safety here. I'll probably pick some cover fours here in a minute to show you how that looks. Uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna motion in the receiver. He doesn't really. He hasn't gotten that edge the way that I want him to, but that's fine. So we're gonna go up. We're gonna we're gonna pass lead this and bullet it. Uh, basically, we have to really lead that out properly. You see, we get the touchdown there. Yeah, I mean the the one thing you guys are gonna want to lab is the angle at which you're pass leading. Um, to make this play successful. I mean, I don't want somebody saying this play doesn't work because it's really all about this uh, this pass lead. It's a tighter window than some of my one play touchdowns in the past, but you can see he's getting passed. Plus, if a Cooper was a little bit faster, it might make a difference too. I'm not sure if uh, Derek Carr is the best uh, guy for this. You can see, I'll show you the play art too. This is basically the look. Uh, but I'm not sure if Derek Carr is basically the guy for this. But this motion receiver too, by the way, is going to be huge in some of these other plays. As I had to throw that early there, but it still worked out. Didn't get the one-play touchdown because there was a guy in my ass, but it still worked. I'm having an issue running it towards Vaughn Miller. I mean, you got to have... <laughs> you don't want to run this against elite pass blockers. But you can see how that receiver definitely helps out. So we're going to go ahead. I'm still, once again, throwing it quicker than I wanted to. You can see he was passed. Once again, a bad throw by Derek Carr. It's all good, though. Derek Carr is not necessarily the guy. I run this with, with Michael Vick, and he's, he is the man for deep ball plays. For one play touches, look at that block. Nobody even blocked him. What the hell? My, my tackle and my receiver whiffed. Good Lord. So, like I said, you got to work on the time and who that receiver, that receiver is important. So there, I could have really went triangle, but like I said, we're trying to go one play touchdown. I'll cover three. Both of them guys are wide open, Cooper and the triangle route. So just pick your poison. Obviously, you're going to want to go with the bigger play. Uh, but like I said, this play is also in the Miami book. And, I, and I, I, I found this book. I'm going to wait for that guy to engage a little bit. I found this play a long time ago, but I didn't know the capability of its one-play touchdowns. As you can see, he's getting passed again. That's against one of the best seconds in the league. Talib, or Talib is, a, is a nice corner, man. One of the better corners in this game. I think he might have been number one in this game. So we'll go ahead and run this one more time, and then I'll show you some other things you can do with this play. Uh, maybe I'll run it against cover four. Not really sure. Like I said, it, the, the cover four one's a much tighter window. We could definitely go triangle here once again, but like I said, let's loft it up. See if we can get that as once again it's a bad throw. But you know what? It looked like a touchdown, so we'll call that a play. I do want to show this one time against a cover four just to show you that it works. I would say it's best to run this from the left side, though. Yeah, this play also works against uh, cover four, but I think you have to put Crabtree in uh, in one of these for it to work against cover four. So let's go ahead and let's do that. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna roll out. You can see how the coverages are way down, and then he gets passed. So it is a cover four beater. He didn't take it all the way, but it is a cover four beater. Slightly different adjustment though, and this is gonna make it a little bit harder for that pass blocking. So Lynch here, um, you might have to motion him to the line. I don't even know if he becomes a pass blocker at that point. Um, yeah, you can't even make him a pass block at that point. So the, the, the only issue really uh, with Lynch is uh, pass block. And getting that edge is going to be a little bit harder, but it is a cover four beater just as long as they don't have... You can see how those two guys are holding down this time instead of one. And you can see how it gets past cover four. So it is a cover four beater. It's a little bit tougher though. Yeah, so this play is also a cover four beater, just a little bit different. Still easy, though. You know what I'm saying? All you got to do is put, put Crabtree on that zig, and then you want to pass block uh, Lynch. And uh, I would say it might not even be a bad idea um, to ID the mic um, as far as Lynch goes. I don't know if you can ID uh, defensive ends. I don't really use the ID the mic feature too much. Um, but, yeah, it doesn't even look like you can do that. <laughs> so maybe slide left. Um, just to kind of try, try to get that, uh, hold that edge down because you do got to get that edge. So here, wait till they engage. I'm going to go ahead and roll out and we're going to see he gets behind it again. That safety exit did a much better job of uh, identifying because I didn't get the edge fast enough, but you can see it still gets gone. 
So, really good play. Like I said, this playbook here has a cover, a one play touchdown against every coverage, which is why I'm leaning towards using it um, from now on, for a while anyway. Um, but which is, you know, that's definitely important. You need those coverage beaters. So here you can see they go down again. I'm pass leading and, and bullying outside. We got another touchdown. So that's cover four. Um, I don't think I need to prove it any further. Let's go ahead and let's move on. So let's go ahead and let's show some of these other uh, options that you have. Like I said, this guy here, Crabtree, in these plays, I will be motioning over pretty much every play. And your opponent's not going to know what the play is until you hike the ball. I mean, they may think that one play touchdown's coming. Um, some of the run plays I'll show you, I'm going to be motioning this guy. So um, this is this is going to be uh, the constant motioning this receiver. But once I get him to the other side, I also like putting him on a drag route. And now you see how you have three levels of passing. You can't really keep uh, Roberts where he is because if he if he if I run this play like this, I'll go and run one time. You're going to see how the timing of that zig route they kind of just get too close together, uh, which is not really what I want. So I take the triangle route anyway. But that's not really the spacing you want. So you can you can you can also leave them on a uh, on a streak. If it's a cover three like this, this streak route is actually pretty good. If you really want to get ballsy, you can put uh, Lynch on um, on this. Um, you know, as long as the pass rush doesn't get there, you can put Lynch on this. You got the one play touchdown. You got everything really uh, in this particular play. Uh, as you can see, that he's just right open to that cover three seam, even though there was some bumping going on there. All right, so definitely a phenomenal play there. So uh, P.A. Reed, cover three, one play touchdown, cover four, one play touchdown. Probably the most used uh, form or, uh, defensive formations out there anyway. So that's really all you need to know there. Slight difference in adjustments, but a great play. So we're going to go, we're going to end this first video with a run play. Uh, I don't know which one's the, my, my favorite run play, but I'm going to show the halfback sweep on this first one. I'll probably save the next run play for the next video. So we'll go ahead and we'll pick that. Uh, we're going to keep going nickel because if they don't match, you know, if they come out at 3-4, obviously you're benefited, you're benefited to pass. So we'll, we'll go with random nickel here. We're going to go over and move the ball back to at least center. I mean, you'd probably be better off running it from the far hash mark um, just to give you space. So I guess I'll do that. Be aware of where you are on the field, basically. So all I'm going to do is I'm emotioning Crabtree again. Uh, if you guys noticed, I was doing that on pretty much every play uh, in the last, uh, or, you know, in the last play. You have an option to motion him all the way out, let him, let him get all the way to the edge, or you can motion snap him a little bit quicker. You can see here, basically, I'm not sure if I have the fast enough running back to run this play properly. I might switch it up, but you can see basically I'm going to try to get wide and get this edge. I find this play is best motion snapping it, kind of like the uh, the gun tight slots that everybody uses. Uh, which I originally put out, by the way, um, <laughs> out of the Saints playbook and Jets playbook. Uh, but I like to snap him once he gets right behind that tackle. And you can see how he just gets and sets that edge a little bit. And then Lynch is a pretty, pretty first. Oh, my goodness. He's still going. <laughs> he's still going, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> As we got Marshawn, Marshawn, Marshawn with a beast mode touchdown. Let's go. Yes, yeah, like I said, I'm not even sure this is the best run play. The one that I'll show you guys in part two, or if you can see it on my Patreon now, um, might be the best one. But you can see here, you need a little bit of speed. I mean, I don't, oh, that was a hell of a move. And then my blocker gets in the way. 87, move your fat ass, Cook. Man, that would have been a, a much better play if my uh, dude didn't get in the way. So we're going to go and run this a couple times, just get a little bit of consistency. But you can see you're basically just sprinting straight to the sideline. And since I don't have the fastest running back, I'm not getting as big a gains as I would like. We'll go ahead and we'll remedy that. We're going to go ahead and we're going to put in a speed back if I have one. I'm not even sure if I do. Um, let's see here. Washington. There we go. 91. Bang. So we're going to, we're going to, that's fast enough, I guess. Let's go. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to run this. Uh, emotional wrong guy. Who cares? Same setup. Who cares? <laughs> Just want to run it. We're going to run it. We're going to run it. We're going to run to that edge. We're going to run to that edge. We're going to run to that edge. We're going to make that dude miss. And you can see how the speed is definitely beneficial there. I typically don't like to run plays like this that are kind of on the risky side because you're running behind the line of scrimmage. It's risky as far as losing yards, but I find that this play really is pretty consistent. You can see I get the hole in front of me like I was talking about. But yeah, sometimes a hole like that just opens up right in front. And I'll take that sometimes because it's guaranteed yards rather than try to get the big, the big yards like this, like this, like this, son. Look at that, man. The whole line just shifts. And look at that. I just got holes, holes for days. Uh, but like I said, there's two different areas. You just got to look for that hole and hit it. But if you're taking it wide, just sprint to the sideline, basically. If that's the plan, just sprint diagonal like this. And get behind that guy. Oh, you just tripped me up, man, but that's okay. You did your job. <laughs> you did your job and finished. No, no. Give me that touch. That's right, baby. Look at these Look at these runs right now with, this, with my man. <laughs> It's the halfback quick base. Very similar setup. If you didn't see part one, I'll go through this quick. Uh, but this is a really good setup. So let's go ahead and let's pick that. We'll keep going against uh, Random Nickel because that's a matching formation. So we're going to pick that. 
Something I've done pretty much in all of these plays so that, you know, you guys know I uniform my plays if you watch my videos. I make sure that they all look the same so your opponent doesn't, it's not a tell, so your opponent doesn't know what's going on. But I'm going to motion this guy over just like I did in the first couple of plays. I'm going to hike him right when he gets behind that left tackle. And you're going to see how, look at that, man. Running room for days. Running room for days, baby. And I couldn't get going. That son of a bitch. Couple of good runs here. We're going to go ahead and move on. Like I said, very similar to the last video getting some man coverage though i don't know if i should be doing this against man coverage but you can see how if i just get that edge i don't know how he sucks and blocked me there it's a much better defense than the running back i'm using which is why but uh, still a good carry so we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna run a couple times i really kind of want to wait till he gets a little bit further past 72 because i want him to set that edge and get on that corner like he did there i'm not really getting like i said the sweep play held the blocks longer and i was getting further away but yeah just make sure you watch that first video mix in the sweep with this play and you're just going to be you're going to be dynamite you're going to be you're going to be you know hitting home runs left and right and i'm going to go ahead i'm going to make a dude miss there make two dudes miss there with that nasty spin move and we're just getting yards man this is working out fine so let's go ahead and let's run this one more time i'd like to get a big play if i could if i can't i'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna move on after this carry uh, as you can see sometimes the hole opens up right in the middle well you gotta hold that block 89 i could have been gone that was like a horrible job so a really simple concept there, uh, using that motion. Uh, I think on the next play though, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm going to pick uh, the bench. This play right here, obviously, uh, is a pretty well-known play, but I'm gonna make some adjustments that aren't typical. So let's go ahead and let's pick that. And we'll go random nickel. All right, so real simple. All I'm really gonna do here is motion over Roberts. If you're doing the run plays, um, you know, that I showed in this video and the previous video, you could always motion this guy over to kind of mix it together so that your opponent doesn't, it's not a tell basically, uh, which is typically why I like to try to, um, you know mirror mirror every play but it, it'll, it won't be a huge issue but either way this looks like a cover two which is the point that's kind of what i want i want this to be a cover two so i can hit the uh the x route right at the middle seam here uh, which actually was a man coverage so I, I took the outside route man coverage is you typically want to go with the tight end i would have waited a little bit um but the pressure was there so it was obviously a, a heavy man blitz uh, but either way cover two you typically want to go right up the center seam with Roberts. Uh, man coverage, you would typically want to go outside uh, with Cook. And uh, cover three, I can't say there's a great cover three beater here, um, but uh, Cooper might be the best way to go on the check down. I haven't really I haven't really managed this particular play towards a cover three. So we're going right up that cover two seam, like I was saying, with Roberts. Right up the center there. <clears throat> I'm not sure if Cook is a great cover three player or not, but I would say putting Cooper on a slant going back the other way is also a pretty good play. Um, in this scenario, you might want to like drag Crabtree, um, but obviously these type of these routes are all going to work against one another now. So here we go. I don't know what that was, but I just <laughs> we had a lot of openings, but I know it was a blitz. Yeah, I don't know if they heard Derek Carr's ratings this year, but he's not uh, been as good. He's not really a great QB uh, in this version. I don't know. Maybe he hasn't played very well this year, but uh, we'll go ahead and run this a couple times. Looks like cover two once again. Less is the man, so we're going to probably go X right at the center. As you can see, I safe caught. I probably could have caught and run that, but cover two, man. So we're going to run this a couple different times. Like I said, Crabtree and, and Cooper are really, you know, you can do any combination of things you want with those guys. Looks like another man coverage, so I'm going to actually go out to the triangle route. I'm going to loft it up here, and we're going to get gone. As you can see, you know, anytime you catch a tight end covered by a linebacker, it's typically a win for the tight end. Got pretty adequate blocking. Uh, with uh, with the running back pretty much always being designed in the backfield So we'll run like this one time pretty much every time Cooper and uh, And Crabtree which are my best receivers. I really should switch that up have my best receivers running the, the important routes But basically I'm always having them in a combination of a slant and an out route whether it's that way or it's this way I just don't put them on a zig zig's fine, too But it's typically uh, that's the combination because they kind of work off each other pretty well um, It's typically where I have as you can see here, I'll go ahead and I'll put I'll throw it to Cooper that time. But those are the um, those are the best ways to do it, as far as your checkdowns go. They just work off each other well. So let's go ahead and let's try to hit one more big play. This looks like a cover two again. Not really sure though, but you can see. Look at the space. You know what I mean? There's just so much space. Like the, whenever you have so many routes clustered together like that, it's just it, the computer just has a hard time figuring out what it is early and they just kind of like stay back so they don't get beat and then you can see how um, i just totally emotional wrong guy then you can see how <laughs> then you can see how uh we have openings can i reset the play thank you so yeah i'm definitely uh flubbing it up right now because i'm talking too much so let's go ahead and let's run this one more time i did get one touchdown not that this play is really meant to be you know a huge 
one play touchdown play and like that like previous plays but um it's definitely a good play so we're going to do this one more time look at that x route man he's just like wide open and you can see that uh, it's really tight window because it gets it's not tight window because the coverage is tight window because a lot of times he almost looks like he's going to run in the cook uh, but that's it so we're going to move on to the next play I got plays for days out of this playbook already, man. I only used it for one weekend league, which typically is like, I played like 20 games with it. So that's, <laughs> that's quite a bit. So if you guys want to see uh, more Raiders, hit the like button. I definitely have, um, I have some out of the trio offset here. That is a really good formation. So let's go ahead and let's finish up with, uh, I'm going to say the bench switch. I already did the bench. Uh, I might do the Aggie too, but let's go ahead and let's go with the bench switch quick. A couple different ways to run this. Keep going random nickel. Uh, this particular play here is good just like this. You have two of the better concepts in the game in the same play. You got the, the bench switch on one side, and then you got the um, uh, the corner strike on the other. So you really have your choice. I'm going to go to move to the middle because obviously I want options for both, and I'm going to have a lot less doing it from the side. I wouldn't really be able to throw it to the uh, the corner strike. But real simple, if it's a man coverage, the corner strike, Crabtree's really good. Um, if it's a zone coverage, you probably want to go Cook and Cooper side. Uh, we'll go ahead and run this a couple times. Uh, you can see there, I'll take the uh, the short route. I don't know what that was, though, to be honest with you. I'm not sure if that was a man or not. So I was going to run this a couple times. I want to put Washington here, though, on a pass block. I want my time. I don't really want to deal with that. So we're gonna, it looks like we have what's probably a i don't know what that was they look like a cover two i had to wait a little bit i'm not a huge fan of c route because of that yeah i like to put cook on a streak sometimes it's a pretty good play um if you really want to get fancy uh motioning out uh washington here and then putting him on a flat route will complete a cover two concept with cooper too but then you don't have the pass blocking the same way you did and you can see how cooks just right open up that scene I haven't done a lot with motioning out Washington. You can do whatever you want with him because in this in this particular play, if I motion him the other way, uh, he's a really good drag coming back across of what Cook is doing because um, you can see how that draws all the coverage back and he just gets a nice open catch and run. If I could have made that dude miss, it would have been a big play. So Washington's a, a really good option if you want to put him out. Um, you could also leave him back to block and then you could always put Roberts on that same drag. Um, I don't know if I can motion him in without motioning him all the way over, though. It would have been nice um, to motion him just halfway, but either way. So that's that's an option for you. Um, here we can do the same thing with the uh, with the cover two concept if you want to. Uh, as you can see here, he's just wide open in the flat. I mean, that's, you know, you can make a living off of that. This is a really good formation. I haven't even tapped all of its potential yet. But yeah, motioning over Roberts here is also, um, if I put him on a uh, flat route and then put Cook on a streak, it has the same uh, effect a lot of times that um, I put out a play that I use quite a bit out of that where basically he'll get open like right away. Oh my goodness, that was a tight window, man. I should have bulleted that. Nice nice throw though. But yeah, this is a really good formation. I'm going to be doing a lot more labbing with it um, now that I, you know, I just want to get this out for you guys because obviously, you know, I feel like the uh, the Saints playbook, a lot of people see that stuff coming now because it's, it's like the most popular. I've made it one of the most popular books online. So it runs a couple different times. Okay, I think I'll go ahead and I'll put the running back to the side. Like I said, there's so many different things you can do with this particular play. Um, even this is good. I mean, you still have that bench switch, and then you get that cover three beater. And we can float up over. Why couldn't you catch and run, man? You even got a linebacker on you. Look at that. All right, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to rock this one more time. This looks like I'm going to definitely have um, the X route open now, which is what I want, because that's a nice, easy route. Look at that. Look how much space he has, man. That's just like... That's just glitchy as hell. That's one of my favorite concepts right there. Now, that's just guaranteed yards. Guarantee. So we're going to keep doing this. I, I, I love that. Uh, if you really want to keep the uh, corner strike concept going, you can do this. Not that. You can do this with uh, Crabtree. It'll still pull coverage down. <laughs> so you really have your options there. Oh, as a man. Car, you are just almost messing up. Get that ball there, bro. Get that ball where it needs to go, bruh. So I'll keep trying to do this corner strike with the running back like this. But look at that. That's just glitchy as hell, man. Look at that. He's got like 10 yards of separation. It's crazy. It's crazy! I put Roberts on a, uh, a flat route before he even gets over, by the way. So it switches. If you don't put him on a flat route, he'll be running across the field. So I just put him on it. Look at that, man. Look, look at the spacing. Look at the spacing. Just imagine putting like a Tyreek Hill on that route or that he's just going to be getting mad yards. You know what I'm saying? So I think I'll go ahead and I'll move on uh, from that. Yeah, another thing you can do 
is motion out Cooper here. If it's a cover three, uh, this route's kind of glitchy. Um, like I'll go ahead and I'll show you there. See how he turns his back? If you just throw when he makes that break, it's also a really good uh, play. Um, I don't know what you could do with all the, um, you know, all your all your check down options stuff like that. This looks like a man, maybe. I'm not even sure. But either way, man or uh, cover three. Look how he just watches him catch the ball. Like he does nothing. I'll probably have a one part series and the rest will be on my Patreon. But uh, like I said, I got a lot of requests for this. I got a lot of I got a whole list of requests that I'm going to try to fulfill one after the next. Uh, but the Raiders I did end up using in a, in a situation where I was labbing them, so I came up with a pretty good uh, set of plays. This one right here. This is a very unique formation. This is the formation called the pistol wing. Uh, what makes it unique is you have a um, you know you have a two tight end set on the one side, and then you got a receiver. It's just it's just a little different. It's not it's not the you know the biggest difference in the world. But there's some really good plays in it and. Uh, the first one I'm going to show you is probably the best one. It's the strong power. The strong power is in a lot of different formations. It's in a lot of formations where you have, you know, three wide receivers, uh, two tight ends, but uh, no wide receiver on the outside. What makes this one unique is it has two tight ends on the outside, plus you have uh, two pulling guards. I mean, that, just do the math. That's an out, that's an amazing uh, blocking advantage you're about to have. So let's go ahead and let's pick that. Like I said, plus you have a blocking receiver, which a lot of formations don't have. This is the only one I've seen where you have two tight ends on one side and a receiver and two pulling guards I mean this is just let's pick that let's give myself the toughest defense I can I got the Chiefs which is a pretty good defense already so we'll go Ram 3-4 now, in other formations, I would say you'd want to flip the play with the right stick, but given the, the huge blocking advantage that you have, that's really not the way to go. Um, you can see how, you know, there's just, oh, look at all the pulling diagrams <laughs> you have here. Now, Wofford here, his job is to seal the edge. If you want to, you can motion one of these tight ends out. I don't find it's necessary, but it's something that is always an option. It's a good, um, you know, technique. I might have a couple pass plays where you can mix in that motion, but it's something that's, you know, can definitely draw attention um, from the from the user opponent if you have an opportunity to do that i wish i could move this guy over that'd be even crazy but obviously you can't do that but i think that motioning him in like this um, is going to be helpful to distract your opponent as well so let's go ahead and let's run this a couple times um, hopefully that guy doesn't get that edge he almost did there uh, first play you know i got about 10 not, not too great we'll get more it's always a transition going from talking to running these plays look at that dude that corner just ran look he fell again like he's dead he taught me a lesson. All I do is make him miss, too, and I haven't gone. Um, all right, let's get inside. There's always going to be lanes. In Ooh, come on, bro. That was a touch. Wow, they're really stacking this box. All right, so let's go. Man, we got some chop blocks out here. Oh, let's go. You got shook. And oh, man, don't catch me. Thank you. First touchdown. Let's go. Ooh, man, Chiefs are standing tall today. Oh, my goodness. Now, that is blocking right there. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> now, that's blocking. As you see, I switched it up. I put a speed back out there. Oh, man, that's just dirty. Yeah, that's right. Just single, just ISO that guy, make a miss. I mean, they're really stacking the box heavy right now. I mean, this is like eight in the box every play, and it's still getting it done. Oh, you got to make that block, bro. Where are you going, 15? Turn around and block. You can see I'm getting much better results with a speed back. Uh, I tried to run with Marshawn Lynch, and it worked to an extent. All right, let's see if I can crack one more touchdown here. Now that I'm using a speed back, there's a good block. And we make that guy miss. And you can see how much easier it is with a speed back rather than Marshawn Lynch as a power back. So let's move on to the next play. So like I said, just make sure you got a speed back there and it'll be all good. Next play we're going to do is the PA boot left tackle. Let's go. We'll keep going with that 3-4 because obviously if they don't respect your run abilities here. You want to, or your pass abilities, you got to... All right, so this play right here, man, this is pretty obvious. Just like a three-level play, um, not a lot, you know, going on here. If you want to, you can motion this guy over. I like that outside setup. In this scenario, I would put, um, I put my man here on, on a on a streak so that he kind of comes open underneath it. But uh, he works on either side. It really doesn't matter. Um, if you do leave him over here, and you decide to motion over Cooper. Cooper becomes a much better uh, option of the cover three scene, which just looks like it might be a cover three. So in this scenario, um, he really would be open right away. Uh, I would say take off what, off the play action uh, because if it is a cover three, like this looks like it's going to be, that that square route should be open right away. And I'm going to want to try to hit it, a bullet pass it, hopefully possession catch it, and there you go. So if you're pre-diagnosing a cover three, Cooper's going to be a better option to motion in so he can be right up that seam. 
Uh, but if it's a cover two, your other option might be a little bit better. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's run this. I like the play action, by the way. I know I said on the first one to, to take it away. Uh, but I'm a huge play action fan. As you can see, I get that big play downfield. I just think that if it's a cover three, you should take away the play action. I don't know if I stated that well enough. But if you think it's a cover three, you should definitely uh, do that. I also like putting him on the, the, the square route on an in route and then, uh, you know, doing one of these. Because I think that that'll basically have the same uh, effect. And then you can see how it works against Crabtree again. Crabtree's going to be really good on this play. Yeah, I like, honestly, I just like running it just like this. Just motioning in, uh, Cooper here, put him on a streak, and run it just like this. I find that he he pulls coverage enough that these tight ends get open in his wake uh, really well deep downfield. It's just a really good setup. So much going on. And it's just a simple motion. Like I said, in the first play, I said you can motion this guy to kind of distract your opponent. If you're mixing these two plays together, um, it'll do that really nicely as I got the uh, circle route just getting open deep here. I mean, there's just, it's really hard for linebackers to get back and cover a deep route like that. Especially since user defenders will typically follow um, where the quarterback goes because you're, even I said it in one of my tip, tip videos that um, wherever the quarterback goes is typically where the ball is going to go. And since you're play actioning over to this side, your user defender is going to leave the middle and then you're going to get that, that comeback route uh, just deep down the middle. It's just, it's just deadly. So I think I, I think I hit everybody except Walford. If you want to get Walford open a little bit better, just put him on a drag. Um, that's really a better route for Walford, and it works pretty good against. Um, he's not a good tight end, but it works pretty good against the two tight end setup. Yeah, Walford's job really is a check down. It's a better check down if it's a drag, but ultimately he's just a check down that plays off of the other tight end. And Crabtree is just money. All right, so that's it. We'll move on to the next play. Up, I'm going to pick the Y stick. This is a really simple setup. We'll pick that. Nothing too crazy here. I like motioning in Crabtree again. Um, I find that, you know, keeping him uniform is always good. Uh, putting Cook here in a slant is a pretty decent setup. Or you can put him in an out route and then smart route him. Um, and he'll play off a of Walford pretty good. Uh, this is not a play action. This is a quick hitter. As you can see here, he doesn't catch it because he's getting slammed by a good linebacker. But it's all good. Uh, but basically, this is a really good setup for like a goal line. Uh, you know, this is uh, this is the way I would run this. You could. This is another scenario where if you have a fast tight end and you want to motion him out to gain advantage, you can. I already motioned Cooper, so I can't do that. But um, that's just like I said. This is a good goal line play if you're if you're really up against it. And since it's a good goal line play, I decided to move the ball up because obviously that makes way more sense. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, this is essentially the setup right here. Uh, you can see Walford, they're sending a big blitz. Uh, Walford, we'll say he crossed that. I'm not sure if he did. Uh, this is about two-point conversion depth. Uh, leaving that receiver out there is not a horrible idea either. As you see Cook just catching in between. Yeah, I'd say if anything, if you want to put Cook on a slant, leaving Cooper out there will create a little bit more separation. But if you want to put Cook on an out route like this, then you definitely want to, um, to motion over uh, Cooper. So let's go ahead and let's rock this one more time. That out route, they're just sending some serious blitzes right now. Let's go. So I'll go ahead and I'll run this one more time. I still like crossing Cook, even though that's, you know, like I said, it's not the best way to go. Um, Crabtree there, putting him on an in route would be a very good check down as well. Um, as you can see, Cook is just wide open late. He just burnt that. Uh, but this is, you know, this is more than just a uh, a goal line play. It's it's a good play anywhere on the field, but it's just really hard to cover in that short of space. Every every route really is meant to score. So we'll run this once or twice more because I can't say that I really ran this play too much. Smart routing, Cook is the way to go. Um, I didn't, uh, I couldn't do that on the goal line, obviously, because there's not that much space. But you can see how it creates separation for Cook in a smart route scenario, playing off the other tight end. Um, like I said, if you think it's a zone, you could always motion out Walford. I'm not going to do it here, though. Uh, but you see how that guy has to react to that. And then the linebacker's stuck in between the two. They'll, oh, look at that move by a tight end, though. By a tight end, though. Yeah, if you watch how that linebacker has to react to the incoming uh, slant, it really it just kind of confuses. It. It's really hard to pick what they're going to do. I mean, there it's a man. As you see, Cook's just going to beat it because Cook's a pretty good tight end. 
I want to see another zone look though, so I can show you how. You know, if you're not watching, see how that tight, see how that linebacker has to react. He has to stay in his zone to react to the slant. Just lets the tight end get wide open. All right, that's that's it for video part one. I'm not sure if there's going to be a part two. Um, the rest of it's probably going to be on my Patreon. So if you guys want to see the rest of that video, you got to head over there. Uh, other than that, thanks for watching. Mad Money shit out. All right, welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing out the Madden cheese. Always got part two of my Raiders wing uh, formation. Uh, my money plays uh, that I put out last time were really dynamic. I'm going to pop a little montage for you guys to check that out if you want to check that out now. Some really good run plays over there. Um, and I'm going to continue in the run vein. I have some really good uh, run plays still left on the board here. This is one of the best formations out there for running because you essentially have, um, you know, two tight ends on one side and a receiver to one side. And a lot of these plays you have pulling guards and stuff like that to help out uh, even more in that area. So, like I said, one of the best running formations in the game right now. Uh, the play that I'm going to pick is going to be the counter, the halfback counter at the bottom there. Uh, and I'm going to probably show another run play and then maybe another pass play as this video goes along. So we'll go ahead and we'll pick that. We'll go on 3-4, uh, you know, keep going random 3-4, picking a really good defense again. Uh, so I don't want to hear in the comments like, well, you're running against the, you know, I'm running against the Chiefs. It's one of the best Ds out there. So let's go ahead and let's pick that. All right, so you really want to run this just is. I think this is really one of the best ways to go. If you flip it, I find that there's too much blocking going on and it kind of gets in your way. Uh, you would think that motioning over one of these tight ends would be a good idea, but um, they actually just run right back and block uh, the, the guy that was, or try to block the guy they were supposed to, which is not good. Uh, but you can see even there making that mistake. I mean, the first play, uh, you know, still not a 20 plus yard gain, so. I'd say the best way to try to set that edge would be to motion this receiver over. I'm not sure if any of my passing plays have that motion in them in this formation, but um, that would probably be the best way to do it. And then you'd almost want to snap it before he got to the edge. You don't want to let, necessarily let him get set because you want him to try to run into uh, that outside linebacker. Uh, but a lot of times that outside linebacker stays disciplined, especially if it's expecting a pass and it doesn't necessarily um, like there. He just kind of like motioned in to cover his area. As you see, I don't get as much as I did before, but still good. Uh, but like I said, just running it just like this is pretty good. I mean, he, like I said, he kind of he kind of has to stay disciplined to a degree. Look at that juke move. Two guys just whiffing. Let's see if we get a nice, couple of nice big touchdown run plays. Um, man, it's, uh, he's feeling slow right now. I don't know why. Come on, come on, come on. No, I almost had it. All right, so look at the box, man. They're just stacking the box. Like, good Lord. They stacked it so much, it, it really shot him in the foot. Man, they got speed on defense. Holy crap. I still feel like if your opponent is running zone, motioning Crabtree over is really the way to go. They're stacking this box heavy. And 70 still got that block, though. And we're making that dude miss. I, I don't go play without breaking somebody's ankles. Eric Berry getting shook. Oh, yeah, 70. Oh, yeah, 70. Oh, my God. These guys, there's so much speed. This guy's like a 92 speed back. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no, I could have went outside, I think. I didn't trust my receiver to hold the block. So we'll go ahead and we'll move on. I was saying, though, um, if you motion Crabtree over and it's a zone defense, a lot of times if that linebacker is in a zone, it'll move him out um, like it did here. And that'll just give you a little bit more reaction time. Plus, you see there he held the block a little bit. Uh, not the best run to end it on, but that's okay. I just wanted to show that real quick and then we'll move on. So since this is a run-heavy formation, we'll show one more run play, the halfback power O. Everybody loves the halfback power O. It's really basic play. There's no adjustments to be made. You can't make any because Walford's motioning anyway. So here you just can see how that sets the edge. 66, if you would have went straight, I could have followed you the whole way, but it's whatever. This is the type of play where if you're running, um, you know, up the gut a little bit more than outside, you want a little bit more of a power back. And, uh, you know, I'm just trying to make a, a move here. Yeah, so let's, um, you know, really good blocks. You got you to gotta wait for your blocks to set up and then accelerate through that hole. They do a really good job of setting up there. All right, so next play we're going to pick plays off of that motion. You got the, you always have a power O and a PA power O. So guess what? We're going to show the PA power O. Pretty simple, pretty basic. Now, I don't really think that that motion is actually useful in this scenario. I actually like putting them, just putting them in the flats. Um, it's essentially the same thing. The only thing, though, is is the flat route, he actually stops, which I'm not always a fan of where this one, he keeps going. Uh, this is definitely going to be better to run uh, from the far side of the field because of the uh, the way the routes are set, so we're going to do that. So let's run like this a couple of times. Oh, man, he's wide open right there. 
You see how he just keeps running to the side lane. He doesn't stop, which is kind of nice. You check down there, Cooper. It's pretty successful, but you're really just playing the two tight ends here. This is a two, this is a two tight end game. I probably should have... Oh, is he going to go through everybody? Is he going to go through... <laughs> Man, that dude it took like eight guys to get him down. So let's go ahead and let's um, keep running just like this. Like I said, it's a pretty good design play. Oh, we're going to do this again. Oh, oh yeah, that's how, I, that's how I drew it up. Should have position caught it. <laughs> All right, so we'll do this a couple times, and I'll show you a couple adjustments you can also make. Hey, let's go. Who's he going to cover by? Safety? Yeah, the play action's good. I like to cancel it pretty quick, though, so it doesn't take me off my spot too much. Uh, but you can see, tight ends like this is just hard to cover from a linebacker. Uh, but you can also put him in a little, uh, just, you don't have to do the motion. Uh, this is a much quicker option. You can see how it's not like your typical out route or your typical slant or post. It's actually called a post. It's not your typical post, which is what Cook is running. Doing a couple different things here. I keep forgetting to take away the play action, which I think is important for this route. If you're gonna if you're gonna throw it to help it, um, it's really you know you really want that play action going. As you see here, they eventually just kind of fall back away from help it. But you're really playing the high low uh, between help it and cook. It's that's really what this play is all about. Uh, but I also like to put uh, help it in a zig if you motion them out, which I think is pretty good. Oh wow, they're just not covering deep to cook at all there. And you can still motion Cooper in. Here I got like a corner route concept. There's a couple different things you can do. That's what, I'm not a corner, a corner route, a bench switch concept. There's a couple different things you can do. Uh, that's really what makes this play, um, you know, successful. They got to check down Cooper. The, the tight end was open too there. And then the final play I'm going to show is the tight end attack. We'll go ahead and we'll pick that. Keep going Ram through four. This here is the, probably one of the few plays where I motion over this running back. Um, you know, I, I think putting him over here and then putting him on a slant, you just got a wide open uh, passing attack here. Um, you could also put really well in this scenario, I wouldn't uh, motion over Lynch. Uh, this would be like this, um, just leaving Lynch in the backfield, and you have a pretty good two tight end concept. One of those guys should get open pretty much unless like this. So I'd, I'd say putting Crabtree in a trailing check down, whether it's a slant or whether it's an in route like this, would be the way to go. But if you wanted to motion uh, him, uh, Lynch over here, I think best would be to put him on a little out route, like a check down. So a lot of different things. I'll, I'll, I'm going to move the ball back. So I'm basically going to make my pre-snap read. The best way to do it is definitely going to be uh, Lynch. Um, if I think it's a cover three and I have an outside look, this is a good way to do it. You could also do it just right over the middle like this. So this is this is probably the best look. As you can see, Cook there is going to get open very often. I really think I'd be beneficial to take Lynch out, but this is the last play, and I don't feel like doing it. So let's just run it just like this. And there's Helfit just right at the scene. But yeah, let's just, I don't, you know. You basically have what looks like a five wide set and then you got nothing but tight ends. If you have a speed back, that would really be helpful there to run where Lynch is, but I don't feel like changing it right now. But if you do have a speedy pass receiving back and good pass receiving tight ends i mean this is just this is going to be a spread nightmare and look at that oh my goodness i thought he got picked <laughs> i don't know what happened but yeah this is you basically go from a power formation run to a to a spread passing attack just by motioning out the running back here i know i'm not making all the adjustments but because it's really not necessary <laughs> Just pitch and catch at this point. Look at Cooks with the moves and the touchdown. Like I said, I could try to mix in some of the adjustments I was showing you. But I really think this is the best way to do it. And I'd like to focus on this. That R1 route right there. What the hell? I wish I could motion out the R1 route and Lynch. Uh, because I think health it would be beneficial motioned out and that tight end is just pooping pooping. Oh, oh, oh Takes a team takes an army to take this man down So I do I do think motion health it's a little bit beneficial. We'll do that once or twice 
as you see he cuts across the face of the defender there yeah I think motioning out Hellfit I'm not even sure if that's his name motioning out Hellfit and then putting Crabtree in a little uh, underneath thing here a little in route is not a bad look because um, Hellfit you know it'll, it'll pull the window for Hellfit so here we go. We're going to go with, uh, there's so many good run plays out of this, but the one that I like the most is the halfback toss. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to rock this real quick. All right, so this play right here can be uh, successful a couple different ways. The one way that you can do it is run it just like this. The first time I ever saw this play, somebody ran it against me uh, in weekend league and torched me for like an 80-yard touchdown the first time I ever saw it. And I was like, man, I got to find out where that play is. And it turns out it was in the very playbook I was using. So this is one good way to run it. Um, you can see how the blocking just kind of sets up and, and Marshawn Lynch here um, with a touchdown on the first play. That It's that simple, real simple play. You can run it just like that. Or you can make an adjustment where you essentially motion out Walford. Now, if you have a good blocking tight end, this is best. I find that for whatever reason, a lot of times this guy kind of blocks nobody. Um, as you can see right there, he lets the corner in right away. Um, so it really depends on who uh, on who you have out here. Um, Walford's not a very good tight end. I like motion snapping him too sometimes. There, he actually gets the block, and then I don't really get the speed to the edge. Uh, but you can see it helps out. So we'll go ahead and we're going to try to run it one more time. I like to get one more big run. Like I said, I like motion snapping them. Um, but I didn't time it well there, so it didn't work out. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to try to get that edge. Like I said, I, oh, I totally messed that up. I had the edge and everything. I almost messed it up anyway with that spin move, even though the blocking was there. So you can see how explosive that is. We'll go ahead and move on. I'm going to make this video uh, kind of short. Another really good thing about this formation is you can really counter that play uh, by putting uh, your, your top running back into the fullback position. Uh, which I didn't do there, <laughs> and then basically pick the fullback dive. Now, that's going to be a really good play uh, to trick your opponent. We'll keep going random 4-3. This is probably the best up-the-gut run play, and if you continue with that motion, it'll really get your opponent thinking it's going to be the outside again, and then you basically just sneak him right up the gut uh, with Lynch here. Um, nice battering ram type of run for like three, four, five yards. So basically just motion and cook out. Hopefully it'll get your opponent's middle linebacker lead the middle and give you a nice easy run right up the gut. Like I said, a really simple run, not the biggest, most explosive run. That's the outside run, but this is your bread and butter. 